Okay, I've stocked up on coffee and now I'm ready for another tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can edit UV maps. UV maps is sort of how the texture wraps around the model. And often when you are changing textures around on models and meshes, uh, you might need to do some tweaking for it to look, look right. So I've got this wardrobe here with the common textures and I'm going to change it into a dark elf one. I've done this before with my mods. It's a good example of how you need to edit the UV map. As you can see I've unpacked the dresser texture here to show what it originally was and now I'm going to use the one for dark elf. I'm going to change two of these, the normal map, and as you can see the metal parts are now all messed up because they are looking like wood. It's okay though, if you right click each part you can see that you can edit the UV map through an if scope and that's exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to assume that these are the metal parts and we can drag them here with this brown stuff. As you can see up there the texture is changing on that handle. I think this part is metal as well. It's those uh, supports. I'm going to put it here. It doesn't matter if you warp it a little bit. There you go. Now it looks all uh, proper. That thing over there as well. I wonder if it's this one. And you can just move this around and don't worry. You can Ctrl Z if you do something wrong and you can restart. Maybe it's this one. Nope. Is it really this one? No. No, it's in another it's in another UV map that part. So this is all we can do for this one. You just close it and move on to the next one. You can hold shift to select more and more. But in this case I just want these two move them here warp this a little bit see it's starting to look like metal now now we move on to this part close that doesn't get confusing edit UV, whoa! Well, this might look a bit intimidating. I think all of this is the ropes over here. You can see from the old texture what they are for. I'm just gonna move all of it here, see what changes. Now it looks almost like done. All you needed to do was change these. And all the wooden parts have now been changed into that sort of metal thing. If you, if you want to be pedantic, you can take this dark elf texture. Go away. Where is it? DLC. You can open it in Photoshop and change this into metal if you want. I really didn't want to do that. We had that ebony texture from a previous, we could use that. And now I want to change this uh, bronze pit bit here. I'm just going to do it really quickly, I'm not going to do it properly, but I'm going to put it here. And now remember that you don't want to override every single dark elf texture in the game, you want to save this as a new one. So I'm going to save it as dark elf furniture ebony. And this is wrong format. This is for a Fallout normal maps. Don't do that. I want to change it to D three D DDS. We don't need an alpha on this one. Alpha means transparency on diffuse maps. And now we can just remap this to ebony, and it all changed black. So that's all I had for you for this video and I'll see you in the next one.